are two sayings about truth that I find conflict. The truth shall set you free, and then he who tells the truth shall surely be hanged. In my experience, that my, as a child was told the truth will set you free. Well, both of those things are true, aren't they? They're contradictory and they're both true. And here's why. So tell us the first one. So the first one, for example, is a child. Just say it like it was. Say it like you just said it to us. The oh. truth shall set you oh, free. The truth shall, shall set you free. Well, the reason, even though it's hard to say, the reason that the truth shall set you free is because in alignment with who you are, you are experiencing the absence of resistance. And that is as free as it gets because it is only resistance that binds you. So that is an absolutely true statement. And what was the other one? He who tells the truth shall surely be hanged. That's true too, because the first one is from the upper half of the emotional scale. The second one is from the lower half of the emotional scale. And what it's saying is, if I speak something that is not in alignment with what this person who thinks they are in power holds, then in my pushing against that, they will push back against me. That's the way the law of attraction is, isn't it? So can both things be true? Absolutely, both things can be true because the law of attraction is responding to whatever your position is. So what I learned as a child was if I told the truth, I would be punished. So I learned to oh, lie. Yeah, you learned to tell the truth they want to hear. But then you're not free. So that truth didn't set you free. So you gave up true alignment and love for a false freedom. That's what we're talking about, about calibrating to humans or calibrating to who you really are. The truth shall set you free. Alignment with your inner being. Take some practice. And you get better and better at it. And the more you do it, the less resistance you have. And the less resistance you have, the more free-flowing you are. And the more of a cooperative component you are to everything that matters to you. Isn't that so nice? Isn't that so nice? That's what you're reaching for. And then you see someone else who wants you to speak a different truth. Because they're still in this place where... They haven't discovered resistance-free alignment. They're still messing around in this physical world where they're trying to get their power from numbers or from... This is the best way of explaining it. Let's talk about heaven and hell. This is the best way of explaining this. So people say, Abraham, so there must be a source of evil because there's so much of it around. And we say... Not a source like the source that you think of is God or goodness. It's like looking for the source of the absence of the light. There's no source of the absence of a light. There's no source spewing inky, misty darkness. There's just the light that is being allowed or not allowed. And so the same thing with what you want to call good and evil. There's no source of evil. It's just not allowing the stream of well-being that is flowing all the time. But every thought that has ever been thought still exists. And the law of attraction gathers those thoughts into sort of streams that are very compelling. So when you get focused on something unwanted and then you join conversations about it and you push hard against it and you feel that awfulness of losing the life force because you're not replenishing yourself because you're pushing so hard, it feels like surely there must be someone that is doing this to me because I would not do this to myself. And we say, everyone is doing everything to themselves because no one can think for you. No one can be your point of attraction and your guidance system is letting you know. So it's a hard sell to get people to be nice enough to themselves to feel good more of the time. Esther early on was talking to us about something and we were giving her this understanding and she said Abraham I think you need more information about this person she just felt like if we really understood that then we would join her in that thought and she had come far enough with us to know that the discomfort that she felt at any time was because of the discord or the gap between us. So she thought maybe it might be nice if we just join her over here, which is not ever going to happen. With any of you, your inner being is never going to join you in pushing against anyone for any reason because that's not who Source is. Source is uplifting. And looking forward. Source understands that someone may be in a terrible place of 
pinching themselves off from source but source sure isn't gonna go over there like other humans do and try to fill the gap with something in other words you have to fill your own gap with your own truth with your own alignment to your own love and your own clarity and your own well-being yeah yeah how can you tell how can I tell if someone is telling me the truth you know it really doesn't matter because they could be lying to you and you could know it and you could be feeling awful so you're using their lie to keep you from being who you really are you're using what you've decided they are to be your justification for not being who you are I've decided to deprive myself and it's perspective anyway you don't get to decide any of that we know that it seems like there are facts and that there are those truths we get it but we're talking big picture here here's a really easy way to look at this when you give somebody the benefit of the doubt you're the one who receives the benefit first and so you really don't want to run around and collect a bunch of information about how bad people are because once you gather up your marbles about all this that you want to push against you've just set yourself up for a whole lot of tug of war between you and your inner being who will not do that and that's when Esther says you need more information Abraham you need more information if you knew what I know then you would not be mad at that pilot for cheating me out of 20 minutes <laughs> of flight and we say you cheated yourself out of the flight if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next